down the light adopter hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome to a new video today again doing bitcoin uh it's looking nice doesn't it altcoins are looking even better don't you agree red all over the place minus 20 percent 30 percent uh, I think there's like some extreme fear in the market. So let's look what's happening with the Bitcoin right now getting the charts and just start charting right away uh, What we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at uh, uh, What's it happened before and what we can expect? Uh, uh, from uh, this dump over here because it looks like it's a really severe dump So let's start here and uh, explain what's happening right now uh, yesterday we was talking that this uh, RSI diversion doesn't have to be real RSI diversion because it wasn't confirmed, but now it looks like it's getting confirmed. So this is actually uh, RSI divergence and that's staying. So that means we have to have some uh, big uh, big correction coming right now. Also, we are getting the uh, bearish cross on the MACD right over here. Uh, uh, we are getting bearish cross on MACD. So that means that price one way or other has to retrace a little bit uh, back uh, just to, uh, uh, reset the RSI divergence and uh, get out of the uh, bearish cross on the MACD so how big this uh, dump is gonna be let's look what's happened before and try to learn from the past so basically uh, here in uh, 2017 uh, there was two big dumps this is the first time uh, dump this is the second dump uh, and I think three dumps this is the first second and third but this was before the uh, all-time high but we're gonna look at this as well so what happened here it is uh, all three times we had uh, airside divergence all three times we had airside divergence and after the airside uh, divergence came the uh, let me just zoom in this because this is uh, very extended after the er Eric uh, side divergence came the bearish uh, MACD cross and after the cross we had the correction down right let me uh, I'm gonna this uh, turn off this one we had a, uh, some kind of correction uh, correction down and these corrections are usually around uh, 30 percent this one is 31 percent correction uh, correction down and the same thing happened here yeah i'll show you so here is where the divergence starts we get the divergence uh right on the rsi after the divergence you get this uh let me put it down you get this uh bearish cross on the end of the, the uh, divergence and then you get the pullback the pullback the time uh, how long it times to pull back we're gonna look at that as well but the the, the pullback right over here is also around 40 percent so 30 to 40 percent pullbacks uh over here also divergence price going up the rsi is going down it's slightly going down uh, i don't know if you can see it but it is going down over, over here uh and after the uh, that you get the bearish cross of course right over here that's the bearish cross and after a cross you gotta pull back down and after that pull back over here on this was around 40 uh, percent as well 40 percent as well uh, uh this w looked like it's gonna uh, diverge but yeah you can call it the divergence over here as well i'm gonna i want to use this one let's use this one it looks like price was going up and the now this wasn't actually the version so we we're not gonna take into account the the last one the last one but we're gonna look at these three over here and uh what i tell her. so basically they you uh they last for how long do they last for they last for this one lasted for 18 days this on the daily chart this one lasted for uh for almost a month over a month 34 days and the last one it lasted for let, let me do this for two weeks so between two weeks and uh, in a month's time that's what we can expect uh, right now over here on the chart so we can expect that this is gonna last between uh, uh, 14 bars and uh, where is it 30 bars over here so you're gonna just put it like this sort of so that's the range we are that's the range we expect uh, this to actually end you can just put like this so you can see it better so it's gonna if the lowest is 14 days so the pullback is also gonna go from uh, 
uh, like something like 30 percent all the way down to the 40 percent can it uh, it can go down uh, down to so some obvious resistances on the way down should be this one over here at 38,000 38,000 that corresponds to around 30 percent drop and i think that's it. that's what uh, we should be aiming for and looking for now the that's 34 percent drop which which pretty this now it can of course a week further down but the uh, 38 percent should be actually a decent retracement for this uh let me zoom this out a little better now so you can see it yeah so that's what we have now and it's it is pretty severe drop and i know a lot of uh loans are getting liquidated the leverages are getting liquidated but i mean you did not fear people didn't uh go ballistic over here like uh, they shouldn't go ballistic again because i don't think nobody uh, who is doing the charting is expecting this bull run to be over already so i think it's just a normal pullback right now that uh, we are expecting it's gonna be a big one it's gonna take a while to get back but you're gonna see uh, once we are back everything is green again and everything is nice so use this opportunity to time in uh, when you're gonna buy some altcoins or something like that because uh, right now everything is like 25 27 30 percent down uh, it's gonna it's gonna get mad it's gonna get mad so good luck good luck to everybody hope you get through this uh i know when you are in red it's hard to like not sell and stuff like that but you do it with your money what you want to do with your money i do with my money what i want to do with my money and that's about it that's about it but it looks like it's a big one it's like it's a big one so have fun guys have fun see you later today some altcoins i'm gonna see some red uh, support slides bye bye